Hi, 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 hi. Welcome to the web. It's your girl, Ashley, aka The Widow. And today with me is, you know, my dude. Right. Me, Tyrese. Tyrese is here, you know. Yes. And we have a lot to discuss. We're going to be talking about Deadpool 3 updates, WandaVision clips. And I know Tyrese is so excited to see WandaVision, right, Tyrese? Yeah. Yeah, I am. I am. Let's get ready to keep that same energy and let's get ready to see some trash. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, on that note, uh, this is The Web and I'm your girl, Ashley, a.k.a. The Widow. And let's get into it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm your girl, Ashley, a.k.a. The Widow. And today is, you know, re Kid and Tyrese. Uh, he's got um, some opinions I don't agree with, um, and some I do. Um, and we're going to be talking to MCU things. You know, um, I can be, you know, hype on the MCU, and Tyrese cannot be. So Tyrese yeah. is going to give his opinions, and we're going to talk about it and see what we think you know first um you know there have been this discussions for a while you know once um disney um had got the acquisition to buy fox which then brought back uh you know the x-men deadpool these uh marvel characters you know back to marvel studios so then the mcu could possibly use these characters in the future in their Mar you know in the mcu properties a lot of people like this guy you know mm. tyrese I was like, yes, I don't see a rated R, you know, Deadpool in the MCU. I still don't see and it. And what did I? And I said, Deadpool will be rated R in the MCU mm -hmm. when he's. And this is my thing, and I think Tyrese can agree with me. Like in his own movie, maybe Tyrese still doesn't see it. Um, and you know, but in his movie, he it's going to be rated R. Now, and if he ever has to interact with like other characters within the MCU, like he's going to be going down significantly in team up films if they bring him into the main timeline and bring him in those team up movies he'll be more pg-13 i believe you know he's not going to be rated our deadpool you know hanging out with spider-man and you know everybody else so i feel mm -hmm. like we're going to probably get both like in his own movie he's going to be rated r and it might be a more softer rated r than we did get with fox but rated r nonetheless I don't know if we're going to be like seeing him jack off with a unicorn. No, we're not seeing that. Um, you know, we're not seeing that really. We're not. I mean, like it's going to be rated R, but like I don't think it's going to be mean, rated R. Like, like like cuss words, not other content. And, and, and maybe some violence, but not like a sexually graphic nature. I don't think we're going to get that. Yeah. In a rated R Disney Deadpool movie, so some of that outrageousness you're gonna have to probably just be like it's it's probably gone, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna pull up uh, an article. Um, Kevin Feige actually was quoted. Um, Kevin Feige said a lot of things over the last few days about you know some other things, but you know he's he's really you know when it's time to promote his MCU, he's out there in front and he and he says the right things. You know, I mean. We've seen him, you know, at one point say um, Captain Marvel was the strongest character in the MCU, right, Tyrese? Yeah, yeah, we've seen um, that. We heard that. That was around the time Captain Marvel was getting ready to come out, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and so, and he hyped that up, you know, he, he hyped up her power set, which she is pretty powerful within yeah, the film. Yeah, she, yeah, she, she flew and through then, uh, Thanos' ship. Yeah, that's powerful. <laughs> and yes, and then at the end of the Endgame, who was the most powerful character within the MCU? Group. Wanda Maximoff. No, Wanda Wax. Ma Wanda Maximoff was. Why? Because now he was ready to market Wanda and WandaVision in this new thing that was happening on Disney Plus. And you know how they were just going to start filming. He was trying to build up hype for that. And uh, now with things that was happening, you know, within the world, and we didn't get Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Now we've got WandaVision. He said, not a, the best show possible that could lead us into Disney Plus and show Marvel Studios. Off. If anything, this man is good at saying things, right? He's a great mar he knows, marketer. He, he knows when to say it and when not to say it. 
And so now he's been talking about Deadpool 3 and it will be rated R in the MCU, in the MCU says Kevin Feige. And Kevin Feige we trust. So Kevin Feige says, you know, which I knew it was probably going to happen. Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige has said that the next Deadpool movie will be rated R and be part of the MCU with Ryan Reynolds working on the script right now. So we know that Ryan Reynolds is set to come back um, uh, to Deadpool and, 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 you know, and lead the cast. I know, no, I think there's going to be some movements with some other cast members, but for sure, obviously Ryan Reynolds, you know, he's perfected this character and he's coming back. It will be rated R and we're working on the script right now. And Ryan is overseeing the script himself. It will here. Ryan is very, very busy, very successful actor. We've got a number of things we've already announced that we know have to make we have to make, but it's exciting for it, you know, for us to begin. And again, a very different type of character in the MCU. And Ryan is a force of nature, which is just awesome to see him bring that character to life. So that's mm -hmm. what Kevin Feige has said. Um, there has been some confusion on whether the MCU would include Deadpool, particularly as no Marvel movie has yet to cross over into the R ratings. However, Feige seems to be confirming both an R rating and its place in the MCU. Another hurdle could have been the age limit on streaming services, Disney Plus. However, the upcoming D Disney Star service, which allows for higher age ratings, may help account for that. Um, at the same event, Feige told IGN that Reynolds is working on a script, presumably the Deadpool 3 script, penned by Bob Burgers uh, and, writer, and writers. So there's that. Um, they hopefully put the, you know, the fear to rest that Deadpool would be toned down. Um, it's reportedly, you know, whether Deadpool 2 director David Litch returns and the outline questions, his deadline, his deadline is reportedly full 2021. The Feige comments also confirmed that no filming will take place this year, meaning he could feasibly come on board. So I guess there, we don't know if the director of the first two films is coming back. Um, so, but that's it, you know. Um, what do you think about, what do you think that Deadpool's going to look like? Are you excited to see Deadpool now or? No, I'm not excited to see Deadpool. I really don't feel like Deadpool needs a trilogy, pretty much. I'm pretty mm -hmm. much thinking, like, we got the two films, you know, we got pretty much his story and everything. I don't really think we need, like, a third Deadpool film. That's why I'm kind of like, I don't really care no more, because Deadpool 2 was obviously a, you know, disappointment, but that was, like, Fox, so I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure MCU is going to make a better uh, movie than that, but it's just it's kind of like I'm kind of oh iffy on okay I guess on Ryan Reynolds he's like kind of a hit or miss most of the time a little extra. I mean, is there anything that you know the MCU could do or Ryan Reynolds could do to like draw you in to see the movie to make it more marketable for you or you know to make you feel that this character story should continue on? Um, I don't really think so because. Obviously, they're going to be toned down on most of the jokes, though. So, I mean, I mean, like, you know, it won't be any, like, sexually explicit jokes or anything like that. But I'm pretty sure it'll be uh, funny because the writers are from Bob's Burgers, and that's a funny show. But yeah. it's not, like, something that they can really do to make me want to watch it. Of course, I'll see it because it's, you know, an MCU movie. But I'm not really, like, hyped for it, you know, if you want to get me like that. What if he ends up, I mean, obviously in this retrospect, if they can work something out where he would be in a team up movie with Spider-Man, would that even interest you, even though he would probably more than likely be a PG-13 Deadpool? Um, would you uh, like to see him with Spider-Man? Yeah, I would rather see, so if they did like not the third film and just had him in like other like films with other characters, mm -hmm. that's what I'd be more down to. But because like, you know, I'm not really into like his own trilogy thing, but I'd rather see him. Go ahead. I was gonna say, I after you finish your point, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather um, have him with everybody else. I don't really think we already got his film, got his story down, everything. I don't think we need like they can treat him like basically how Hulk doesn't have like another film, but he's in different yeah. movies and stuff like that. Yeah, I think that it would be good to see him interact with other people. Just I mean, because Ryan Reynolds, 
it can be a lot, but I enjoy seeing him play Deadpool. And I feel like watching him, you know, bounce off other people for people who think that, think that his character and his acting is too much, then maybe that can be toned down because he won't be the focal, focal point of a film. You know, you'll have other heroes around him. So, you know, yeah. you'll just get just enough of Ryan Reynolds on screen, you know, for some people. But I'm excited to see Deadpool 3. I want to see the story continue. I would, and I do want to see him how he interacts within the MCU with other characters with the MCU. So, um, you know, we know that Deadpool is a little bit far off. Um, according to this article, we're not going to, it's not going to be filming in um, 2021. So it's probably, you know, maybe on the end of phase five, you know, so maybe 2022, they'll start filming 2023, you know, 2023, maybe it'll come out. So it might be, phase five you know early six just depending on how they're going to get that in there but it's exciting it's coming deadpool 3 will be rated r and it will be in the mcu according to kevin feige he that here so uh that's kind of exciting and it we have will. one more story guys, you know um we all know um what's coming very soon right yeah what's coming what soon coming? It's coming, right? Yeah. Um, we all are excited to see. Well, I am. I don't know about. Yeah, we all. No, excited. actually, no, actually, we all are excited, excited to, see. to see what it's about. I think he's excited to see is mm -hmm. it going to amaze him or is he going to be exactly what he believes it to be, right? Yeah. I hope I'm, he's I'm got excited. a little bit of an open mind, right? I hope his mind's a little open. Whoa. Um, but WandaVision is coming this Friday, January 15th on Disney Plus. Um super excited. You know, we we have Disney Plus and we had The Mandalorian and what else did we have Tyrese? Nothing. Uh, Got high school musical. There, dry. So if anything, we're getting another show on Disney Plus, right? Yeah, before That's I cancel the streaming service cuz there's nothing on there. And and then in, in March we're getting Falcon and the Winter Soldier, so thing. Mm -hmm. For Disney Plus, you know, um, the first show, of course, that we're getting is WandaVision um, and WandaVision stole Paul Bettany and Elizabeth Olsen. They're reprising their roles, you know, from the films. We were introduced to them in Age of Ultron, saw um, their chemistry continue in Civil War, saw that become something in Infinity War, saw that sacrifice in Endgame. And now we're going to see uh, in WandaVision, what is Bring Vision back. Um, we know that at one point Sherry was still, you know, trying to um, separate Vision out, distract him from the Mind Stone. He, in WandaVision that he has the Mind Stone, right? So yeah. we know that this Vision still has the Mind Stone and we don't know how that is. Why does he have it? Um, and we know that they're adapting sitcom elements. This is the thing that, <laughs> you know, Tyrese Adap is like, yeah. can't, he, he can't. Uh, so, you know, tell us about who is the, you know, uh, executive producer, of course. Who is the man behind the, the man? I don't even know why producing this? Of course, you know, you got Kevin Feige. Yeah, who, 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 what's his name? Kevin yeah. Feige. Of course, yeah. you have Kevin Feige. Of course, he's just going to put his name on stuff. Yeah. Do you have um, other producers such as <laughs> Louis, <laughs> Victoria, <laughs> Alonzo, Mark Shetman, and uh, Jack Schaefer? Whatever you say their name. Yeah. 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 That, that, that's great. Right. And we know that, you know, it's based on the character Scarlet Witch by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. Based um, on, yes. And yeah. Well, it is, you know, it's by, she's Scarlet Witch. She, Loosely you know, based on, yeah. They're taking elements from House of M, the West Coast Avengers, uh, Vision's Quest, and also the Tom King um, Vision um, comic story of vision living verbs. so there's certain elements from all three of these comics that are being adapted for the wandavision series um and we also know that the show is directed by matt shakeman and that the uh showrunner is jack schaefer right um so that's a little bit of information we're going to look at this clip now that just gives us a little bit of something it's not really a uh, trailer. It's just was released as a clip. And so we're going to look at that. 
and get get Tyrese first reaction. And, and see what he hasn't seen it. Um, I um, just saw like the first second of it, so I haven't technically seen it either, which is a good thing. Um, so That's we great. can react to this. Yeah, close your eyes for a second. Close your eyes. You got it up now. Okay. Yes. Oh, this guy, my see? favorite, so favorite MCU that. character, triple favorite. Okay, and like, um, I do want to say before we start, um, like I could tell, um, they're paying homage to a lot of these different sitcoms throughout, you know, different time frames, mm -hmm. and so the acting and the slapstickness is very within the fifties time. They're going to be acting like, um, how those sitcoms look back then, you know, with the oh, some of that over the acting, some of that silly, you know, corny one-liners. Um, so that's what I'm saying. So it's a really kind of a love letter to some of these sitcoms. I know some people are like, well, oh, I don't get it. It's weird. Um, but they also say that within like the, this happening that you can feel this underbelly of this weird world that's going around Wanda. But we're going to look at this clip here. Um, like I said, it's not very long and get Mr. Reese's opinion and uh, see what he thinks. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Wanda, hmm. is there something special about today? Well, I know the apron is a bit much here, but I am doing, doing my best to blend in. No, no, no. There on the calendar, someone's, someone's drawn a little hard right, right above today's day. date. Oh, yes, the heart. Hmm. <laughs> well, don't tell me you've gotten this. Forgotten? I wonder, I'm incapable of forgetfulness. I remember everything. That's not an exaggeration. In fact, I'm incapable of exaggeration. Well, then tell me what's so important about today's date. <laughs> what was the question again? <laughs> oh, God, how she'd forgotten herself. Hey, heavens no. I've been so looking forward to it. <laughs> As have I. Today, we are so. Oh, we didn't meet ourselves. You yeah. bet we are. It's the first time we mm -hmm. have ever celebrated this Hold on, us. I'm actually going to play it one more time just for the audio thing. Okay. You ready to look at it one more time? Get everything you can out of it. Oh, yeah. It's okay. I want you to look at it one. Anything no, that you notice, look at it. Okay. Not just look at the, what they're doing. Look at the scenery. Look at all of it. And it's then, definitely better than the first clip. Thoughts, okay. That I see. Well, that's great to hear. So one more time, we're going to mute ourselves and check this out, clip out one more time, ladies and gentlemen. Wanda, hmm. is there something special about today? Well, I know the apron is a beer, but I am doing my best to blend in. No, no, there on the calendar, someone's drawn a little hard right above today's date. Oh, yes, the heart. Hmm. <laughs> Well, don't tell me you have forgotten this. Forgotten? I wonder. I'm incapable of forgetfulness. I remember everything. That's not an exaggeration. In fact, I'm incapable of exaggeration. Well, then tell me what's so important about today's date. <laughs> what was the question again? <laughs> oh, God, how she forgotten herself? Hey, heavens no. I've been so looking forward to it. As have I. Today, we are celebrating. You bet we are. It's the first time we mm -hmm. have ever celebrated this occasion before. It's a special day. Perhaps an evening. Great significance. To us both. Naturally. Obviously. Exactly. <laughs> Hold on us. That was great. Yeah. So there was that. Oh, I know the um, right? I thought it was cute. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It was cute. Yeah. That's, that's what we're going for. Okay, so I liked it. I enjoyed it. I'm still excited to see the show. Um, obviously, here they're trying to, she doesn't know about their anniversary, and they're kind of like, probably that's what they're talking about um, here. Um, so, what did you think of the clip, Tyrese? Um, I mean, I guess you can say, if you want to call it cute or whatever, I mean, it was okay. It was definitely uh, better. The, what I first saw that night vision vision that's better than yeah, that was supposed to be slapstick corny cheesy yeah 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 you know you know you can do a better slapstick but you know that's fine um 
it was it was all right. I mean, yeah, they both don't know exactly what day that's supposed to be is, but I mean, I definitely I could say I enjoyed this clip more than that loved in the first one. But it was uh, yeah. What what can I expect from this besides uh, mediocre scenes? Wow. So what do you expect from the overall series from WandaVision? What do you think? Because uh, we know Friday we're getting two episodes. Um, we're getting um, the first two episodes um, this Friday. So it's going to be a two episode premiere June 15th on Disney+. Plus. Um, so what do you think uh, um, we might see in those first two episodes here? And what do you feel? How do you feel? Uh, are you, do you feel that you're not going to be impressed? Is that what you're thinking? Um, well, all right. So what we can expect, we can expect uh, yeah. more of this uh, sitcom-y stuff. I'm pretty sure they might, I don't know if they're going to stay in the 50s or go maybe the second episode, they might be in the 60s or 70s or any other different decades that they're doing. But um, pretty much what we can expect from this series is just propelling the story of the MCU. We got to just treat it like how we treat other films that we may not really enjoy that are, you know, like Ant-Man or anything like that. But eh, I'm not really yeah. hyped for it. So, is it, is it I mean, what? They are putting the money into the series. Do you think that maybe visually you can get on board with it? Or uh, what do you think about the fact that the show has a, hundred, a budget of $150 million? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, visually, yeah. I don't have no... Like, or do you believe that them showing you um, how she creates this reality? Do you think that you're going to believe that there's this separate world from the real reality? Or do you feel that even some of those elements you're concerned with how it's going to look? No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not concerned about any of the uh, aspects of how it's going to look. We already know that they're putting like the money down on the table for this show and many of the other MCU shows. So you, like you said, it's like 150 million. So that's going to be like, what, like 9 million or, or so. An episode or something like that or a 20 million episode so um yeah the quality is going to be there that's not my issue here it's just my issue is with um i really don't like vision that much but i'm just <laughs> he really doesn't like vision much right guys i don't, guys? I, I don't really like it it's gonna make him love vision it's gonna make him love wanda it's gonna mm -hmm. bring him into this world where he's trying to figure out who's manipulating wanda Who's controlling her powers? Who um, and we're also going to see that power set grow. He's going to be so into this show that by the end of it, he's going to be eating crow, ladies and gentlemen. Um, watch party uh, will happen. Tyrese will be here to give his initial reaction. I will be. There. My opinions will be muted. I'm doing some other things related to Wanda and Vision, so I will just be asking the questions. You can see that Thursday, uh, I mean Friday night. Sorry, at 3 a.m. You know, Eastern Standard Time, Midnight Pacific Standard Time. I'm your girl, Ashley, a.k.a. The Widow. And I'm Tyrese from The Widow. And you know mm -hmm. what? We're about to be up out of here. We appreciate you all and hope you have a great Monday. And you know what? We're out. Bye. Bye.